Hello and welcome back to the Alicia Show. I am anxious to be here today. I am going to talk all about the fact that my baby girl, although she's told me that she's a big girl now, is going to school. And if you've been a listener for quite some time, you know that I've loved working around her. I have loved being there for her since birth. I have built my business around her. And so this is new territory for me. I cannot believe that I am going to have time Monday to Friday and she is going to be at school. Am I ready for that? No. Is she ready? Absolutely. We had a conversation the other day and she said to me, Mommy, I'm going to school. And you should be happy about that because now you can work more and make more money. And at first I was like, is that what I've been portraying to her that I haven't been able to make money because I've been looking after her? But I also think it's because she wants to now do gymnastics and she's told me that she's going to be rich when she grows up and Yeah, she has plans for mummy's dollars. So I think that was the reason because I said to her, or I can homeschool you. And she said, oh, would you do that, mummy? And I said, yes, would you like it? And she was like, no, actually, no, I would not. I really want to go to school so I can meet new people and make new friends and so that I can play. And I'm not going to lie, for the last year or so, maybe even longer, I have been considering all types of options for my daughter's schooling. And it has caused so much anxiety that it showed up throughout my whole body. I had a big rash on my body a year ago. And I think that's because of the stress that I was holding on to because of all of the major decisions that I had made. And so for me, I'm like, wow, have I made the right decision? And it's not just my decision, right? My husband and I sat down and we talked a lot about different options. I went to see a lot of different schools. And for some who may be listening, you might be thinking, well, what's the big deal? But I had so many things to consider. My daughter is a very outgoing child and she is curious and I'm just going to say it as a little black girl sometimes society may see that as a problem and so for me growing up in the society that I grew up and being told some not very nice things when I was growing up I didn't want that to happen to her and obviously I cannot protect her from all of the other people and their opinions out there. But as parents, I do believe that we should be trying to do the best for our children. And so that was really hard for me because it wasn't just about the school. And if I liked the school, it was about the diversity in the school, the inclusiveness in the school, unconscious biases in the school. And again, I'm not going to know any of this until she's there and she's there for a time period, but also knowing that we did the best that we could in choosing. And so it's happening. My baby girl, she's always going to be my baby girl because that's what we call each other in the black community. I'm still a baby girl, (laughs) right? And It's just a way of how we show our love and endearment to each other. And yeah, so she's going and we went uniform shopping and she was a little bit annoyed because the uniform was big, but she's tiny. (laughs) And so everything is going to look a little bit bigger and she's growing fast, right? And so, yes, mommy did insist in getting her uniform a little bit bigger so that it lasts. (laughs) I remember my mom doing the same to me and just sometimes it was over big, but yes, we bought some of her uniform big and buying her school bag and coats and stuff and where we've got to go and get school shoes and 
this is all new to me and it is anxiety driven. It's exciting for her, but it's a change. It's going to be a change in our lifestyle. I am now going to be doing school runs. I mean, yes, I did the nursery runs, but this is going to be different. I'm going to be doing school runs. I'm going to be doing pickups. She's going to be going to after school club. She's going to meet new people. And I just don't want her to feel overwhelmed. I mean, I'm feeling overwhelmed. It's hard, right? It's hard when you start something new. We've got the first day in her going into school. And yes, I mean, she did do some summer school at the school that she's going to. And she just left me in the playground. The teacher came to pick her up and she was like, bye, mommy. And she even looked back and yes, I'm happy because she's got the confidence to do that. But as I said, I've spent so much time with this young one and it is so interesting to me how quickly she has grown. I wanted her so badly and now the years have gone by so quickly and she is now stepping into her own new journey as not a baby, as a young little person. I'm really excited to see what happens. She's going to have school adventures, new school, new classroom, integrating. I love the fact that the school that she's going to does. And I think a lot of the curriculum has changed now. So it's still child-led. She was super lucky in the nursery that she went to. It was lots of play. And that is one of the reasons why I chose this nursery in particular because I really wanted her confidence to grow because learning can come, right? And so we've never been those pushy parents that is looking at the timelines of when she should know her ABC and reading and so forth because I wanted her to build up that confidence as a little person and ask questions and be curious and enjoy play and be outside And it really has shown from the start that she has gotten in the nursery that she went to because she spent 90% of her time outside. And so she's got that. And I'm so, so happy because now she's going into a more structured situation where they get a lot of play, but there are going to be times when she's going to have to sit down and she's going to have to listen to the teacher and so forth. They're going to have learning corners. They're going to have educational toys to help them. But yeah, there's going to be more structure. And part of me is a little bit scared about that too, because she's still so young. Like they are still so young. But just knowing that she's going to be learning through play as well. And that's how they develop their essential skills and they interact and they learn in enjoyable activities. That really helps me to stay calmer and also just making new friends. But I don't want her to forget her old friends. She made such good friends in her preschool, in her nursery. And so I'm going to make sure as much as I can that they can stay in touch. And that's really important to me as well. Just her being able to know that she has these people who still love and adore her around her. There were so many changes, so many changes. And what I love is that she's going to have so many fond memories about where she's been and where she's going to and then what the future holds. And then so talking about what the future holds for me, I mean, I have always told you that I work condensed hours, right? I do a long Tuesday and a Thursday. And now I have the whole week, whole week. And I think that I'm going to be really strict with honoring some time 100% for Alicia. And so I'm still working that out, but I really, really do think that I'm going to have at least one day a week where it will just be for my play and my pleasure and doing the things that I want to do And that might not be forever, right? But I'm going to try and do that for the first two months of just integrating us into school life. I think that's really important, especially as it's not been an easy journey, not in a sense of being her mum. Don't get me wrong. 
there has been hardships because kids know what they want and they push boundaries and they know how to get the better of you sometimes. And also this is the first time that I'm doing this. And so I have been learning, we have been learning on the job. And so I do believe, and I think because of the way I run my business and because I am a holistic project manager, growth strategist, and implementation coach, now it's time for me to integrate more self-care into my lifestyle. I mean, I've been very, very good at being able to build upon that, but now I want more. I want more because I know that this is a new journey, this is a new season, and it's going to be something that is going to be now embedded in my life for the next 12 years or so. And I want to be strong, fit and healthy for that. I want to make sure that I can stand the test of time. And so it is very important to me to be able to give myself some more time back. So intuitively, it feels like Friday is going to be a day that is just purely for me because it means that I can do what I want to do on that particular day. But it also means that it's the end of the week. So if I want to see friends who may not work on a Friday also, or if I want to plan to go into town to have lunches with friends or breakfast with friends who are still working in the corporate world, then I can do that as well. So intuitively, I think I've just made the decision that Fridays are going to be my day off. Mondays are going to be a CEO day because I have been able to work on the business, but I spend a lot of time in the business. And so in order for me to scale to a higher level again, I want to make sure that I have that time just blocked out so that I can do all things CEO. And that's going to be looking at accounts, looking at my strategies, looking at what's working, what's not working. So my KPIs, that will be looking at ways that I can scale all of those things that we do as CEOs that is not necessarily working in the business. So things that are not my day to day, those are going to be things that I do on a Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday will stay as is. I will still probably be working longer days on those three days because I want to ensure that I can still be contactable and still work with my overseas clients. But now I have the opportunity to start work later. My God. So from the beginning of this conversation of feeling anxiety for my kiddo, which I really, really do, from a health and well-being perspective and a business building perspective, this is going to be amazing. But it also means that I still have to ensure that I have a plan because it will be so easy to get distracted, especially when you've got so much time on your hands, right? It's so easy to be like, okay, I'm going to sit down and have a cup of tea for 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. Oh, I'm just going to watch another one of those episodes on Netflix two hours, three hours. Oh shit, I've got to go pick up the kids. Yeah, (laughs) that can happen so easily. And so I still have to have a structure and I'm really, really excited about that. But I also want to know what and how you feel. I mean, some of you are going through this at the same time as I am. And so your child's going to school for the first time. Some of you are, your kids are returning Oh, there's, you know, and they're going into a new year. Some of you, your children have finished school and you don't have to do any school runs anymore. Hurrah. I want to know any tips that you may have for somebody who is brand new to this. Like, tell me all of it. I want to know the good, the bad and the ugly. Please, I need your guidance now. Here I am asking for your help. And so please, 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 under the video, please let me know your comments and your thoughts or DM me at Alicia underscore lifestyle on Instagram. I'm also on Pinterest. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experiences and your advice, please. Anyway, I just wanted to make this podcast to let you know you're not alone. I applaud you for everything that you do for your little ones. 
I know it's not always easy as they get older. Yeah, some people say it gets easier. Some people are like, it gets harder. I'm just like, wow, whoa, <laughs> like this is like a roller coaster. <laughs> And so I'm here for the ride. I need help as well. I am happy for any guidance. My mum's not here. And so, yeah, I am learning on the job, as I said. So please, please help. Okay. If you know anybody who is in the same position as me and they are feeling anxious as well, send them over to the podcast. Let them know that they're not alone. And please like, subscribe and share. Please, please, please. I'm on a mission to really just be in everybody's ears. All right, take care for now. See you next week. Bye.